Hello everyone, this is Sir Aldrin of Bad Angus Christian School and welcome to our video. For this video, we are to talk about Microsoft Teams. So for tonight, we are to talk about three things about Microsoft Teams. First, what is Microsoft Teams? Second, how to log in or access your Microsoft Teams account? And third, what are the things that you can do in our Microsoft Teams? Okay, first thing, we are to discuss what is Microsoft Teams. I'll give you an overview of our what is our application. Okay? So Microsoft Teams is an online communication and team or class collaboration tool that's part of Microsoft Office 365. So basically, this is uh, part of uh, Office 365. Okay, so this application will be used for our online distance learning modality of Batangas Christian School, yung ating OBL. And what are the things that you'll be needing in order to access this application? First, you need a device. Okay? Whether it is a Windows platform, Android, or iOS, pwede natin gamitin yan. Okay? Whether it's a computer or even cell phone. Pwede, pwede. Okay? Second, it should be connected to the internet. Siyempre, dapat connected tayo. And third, you have to acquire your email account. Okay? Your Microsoft 365 email account. So, paano makakakuha nun? If you're already enrolled in Batangas Christian School, you'll be able to get your Microsoft 365 account. Okay, second thing. So, um, we'll be discussing on how to log in into your Microsoft Teams account. So, there are two ways. First, it's using by using your web browser and second, using the application itself. First, we are to discuss logging in using a web browser. In here, I've already have it uh, on my desktop and uh, you'll see here sign in click that button and key in your uh, email account okay. at batangas christian school at Click next and enter your super memorable password. Okay, from there, be able to access your MS365 uh, account. And in here, you'll be able to see the MS Teams. Click that one. Okay, and there you go. You'll be able to access your MS Teams account via web browser. Second thing on how to access your Microsoft Teams account is using the application itself. But before you be able to access it, you have to download it. Okay. In Windows, you are to download it, and I will provide you the link below. And for Android, uh, it is available in uh, Google Play Store and in iOS. It's available in App Store, so uh, napadali lang i-download yan. And you are to install it in your device. And uh, ganon din ang process. You just have to key in your MS365 account and there you go to be able to access your uh, Microsoft Teams using the application itself so I recommend this one this way uh, para mas madali ang access natin so using the application itself so if you want to choose whether to log in on uh, web browser or the application itself it's preferable to log in via 
uh, the application itself okay, para mas madali ang access ninyo so hindi na kayo uh, pupunta pa sa kung saan saan website just uh, use this application okay. okay last thing in this video is the uh, what are the things that a student can do in Microsoft Teams so as you can see on my desktop the interface of Microsoft Teams you can see here first my profile I, I am logged in as a student in here and I can see the certain settings uh, for my uh, account and as you can see I have here uh, my teams or my class okay? it is organized into tiles and if I'm to enter in one of my virtual classroom I can see here that uh, it is organized into channels and tabs channels are those under the name of my team in this case I'm in empowerment technologies and I have here three channels first by default makikita po natin dito yung general channel where in most of our activities will be here okay and two more we have the August tasks and activities and September tasks and activities so basically yung mga channel na yan ay ginawa ng teacher natin Okay. and basically in general tab we can see in the upper part of our uh, Microsoft Teams different tabs okay. we have the post tab files tabs class notebook assignments grades and also your teacher can modify and add some other tabs here in this case we have the flip grid tab and the uh, Microsoft Stream tab. Okay. Now let's uh, discuss it one by one. Okay, so yung default tabs na makikita natin dito. First, the posts. So in here, makikita natin ang iba't ibang conversation, questions, postings, links attached by your teachers and your classmates so makikita natin dito we can also see in here the notifications okay of assignments okay na uh, binigay ni teacher just like this one okay and you could also uh, have your own message here and as well as you could enhance your message by changing its format, attaching files, okay? adding emojis, GIF files, as well as stickers. Okay? Now, let's proceed with files tab. In here, you'll be able to see the class materials uploaded by your teacher as well as your classmates okay in here also you could add new documents such as word document excel workbook powerpoint one notebook okay and forms for excel you could also upload your own file here but remember this is not the place wherein you are to upload your assignment okay so this tab is for uh, materials that will be used by your classmates and your teachers okay not for private materials such as assignment okay now this tab is for your class notebook okay this is linked to OneNote a very essential application wherein you are able to organize your notes okay, attach files uh, to be used in our online class now let's have assignments tab 
assignments tab is for your task quizzes that was being assigned by your teacher. Dito natin gagawin ang assignment. Hindi nyo i-upload sa files tab or doon sa post tab. Dito natin uh, i-accomplish ang ating assignment sa assignments tab. And last, we have here the grades tab. In here, you could see your scores and the status of your activities. Right? We can see here the due date, the assignment, and the name of the assignment given by the teacher. The status if you are already turned in. Right? Pagka sinaming turned in, you've already visited your assignment. And as well as the score or the points that you've acquired in that assignment. So, basically, yun ang mga default tabs na makikita natin sa ating uh, team. So, to wrap up this video, we've discussed what is Microsoft Teams, how to log in in Microsoft Teams, and third, what are the things that a student could do in Microsoft Teams. So, Batangas Christian School student, are you ready in our online class? So once again, this is Sir Aldrin. God bless you all and see you in our next video.